I just found a video where Sean Schimmel is mocking Vic Mignogna by insinuating that he's a pedo. This video is kind of old, so you might have already seen it, but with everything going on right now with the Funimation leaks, it's very prevalent to Funimation's behavior towards Vic and their overall mannerisms as a whole. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm best known for playing 12-year-old boys, and those are the ones I like to do. He, oh. he really does 12-year-old boys. I right? do them wow. the very best. Mm -hmm. Oh, for example, if I'm doing a monster voice, and I gotta talk down right. here, and I'm a monster, if I'm doing that voice, but if I'm doing a 12-year-old boy, like if I'm doing that, and you, you do the 12-year-old I do boy. a lot of 12-year-old boys. And, I mean, th there's no well, And, and to get into character, since mm -hmm. I, I'm a method actor, um, I will uh, go and uh, I will go to a preschool and I will look at a preschooler and I would look through the fence on the playground and just, you know, I would really observe just to, to be able to get into character to really... Right. Trip to... If you were like, if you were like studying, like if you had to play a mailman, he, <laughs> he would be like following the mailman around. I would right? never... No, that's if way like too the... old. I only do 12-year-old boys pretty much. I mean, that's, right, that's what, what I love what, to what do. What I'm saying is... It's that's what I really love to do. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I appreciate that, but the fact of the matter is, I love doing 12-year-old boys, and I love going to preschools and watching them through the fence to get in the mood to do them. It's really, it's really inspirational. Okay, so this, which character is this? This is Demon 5. Okay, all right. Okay. <coughs> Hang on one second. <coughs> Give me a second. Hang on. Whatever. Let's just fucking do this so I can go home. You'll never escape. What what was wrong with that? Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Okay. You'll never escape. I'm sorry. I don't You got the talk back up too loud. Why am I getting four different directions? You guys are always fucking doing this. Th I'm heinously underpaid for this, and then you're always doing it like you teenage mutant ninja turtles will be right back. I don't care! I don't care if you don't get spoken to that way! You don't speak to me that way! Because I'm the fucking talent! Fuck you! Fuck all four of you! Fuck all- Fuck all four! One, two, three! Fuck for you! Fuck you! One thing about myself, my fans do not know that I want them to know. Well, they already know I love the Lord. They already know how, how hard I work for them to be just the very best voice actor I can be. Um, you know, what a lot of people don't realize, though, is that Kip and I are actually twins. Oh, we're twin yes. brothers. We're internal twins. Right. And, but the twins. difference is that um, we're, we're twins, twins but yes. we're internal paternal. twins. And what that means no, we're is paternal. we're internal twins. In He's we're two paternal. years older than me. I, no, and not two and years I'm, I'm, yes. I'm the younger one. He's also You're taller. You were born. We're twins. Genetically, yes, we're the fraternal, same. Fraternal twins. That I okay. So I was born first, and then and oh no, you were born first, right? And then I was in an egg inside, oh. and I was in a shell. Did you see Jurassic Park when they yes. sequenced the DNA? It's exactly like that. I mean, it's, that's totally based on real science. Okay. So, okay. So anyway, I was in the shell, and I have a prenatal memory of like needing to come out and, and just give my gift to the world oh. and so i remember punching real hard on the shell and i punched through and i was out of the egg and i said hello someone loved me and the nurses were there and, and the doctors and i was oh. they said they called remember that was the newspaper as the miracle egg baby don't you remember that oh totally remember that came and, internal and twins that's, apparently and that's, uh, that's pretty much the miracle of our birth and and, and that's we've been to get we're, we never we're never apart ever we That's true. We, we all still never live apart. with our mom and dad, you know, because mm. it's cost effective, you know. It's... Mm -hmm. The show is called uh, Bearded Dragon Power, Power Aces. Aces. And I we play... are the Aces. Yeah, we're the Aces. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, symbolism. Mm -hmm. I play Yoshi Hart. And I, and I play Osamu Spade. Right. So he's the Heart and I'm the Spades. Right. And also, you know, it reflects our characters too because. His character is love and light, and, and mine is the love darkness. Everyone. You're talking about the power. Well, so, we, we have a lot of different powers. Yes. One of the powers is we have a magical device called the golden rod. The golden and we try to grab the golden rod. And when we grab the golden rod, when you have the golden rod, and you hold it in just right, it extends out, mm -hmm. and there's a little, like, you know, golden knob on the end. And, it, mm -hmm. and you hold it, the, the characters hold it like this, and it's about this long. Mm -hmm. The and power radiates the power, from that. And it cures each. Evil. And I feed my power into his power. Right, and we and come we together and for the 20% power, power increase. No, I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. That's our never catchphrase. That's, we love that. We, yeah, that's, and we People do this. We do that all the time. Oh, God. It's, it never gets old. It never gets old. It's just, 
I'm sorry, is everybody okay? Okay, okay. What the fuck?